first thing you're going to do to make crispy tofu strips is cut open the container and drain out the water. Place the tofu on a plate and you're going to want to get a really absorbent towel. I like to use flour sack towels. They're really cheap and they absorb a lot of liquid. And then you're going to cut the blocks in half and push the towel into it to absorb more liquid. And then you're going to cut them in half again because we're going to cut strips. You can leave them this thick if you want or I like to cut them into thinner strips and you can also cut them and cut the strips in half to be little nuggets. For the coating you're going to have three bowls of the ingredients. In the first bowl you'll have one third cup of potato starch or you can use corn starch. In the second bowl you'll have three fourths cup of non-dairy milk. And in the third bowl you'll have one cup of vegan breadcrumbs mixed with one teaspoon of salt. The tofu doesn't have any kind of seasoning at all, it's totally plain and doesn't really have any flavor, so you definitely want to use one teaspoon of salt. And you'll want them in that order too, in a little assembly line. You'll place each tofu strip individually in each bowl, starting with the potato starch, coating it on all sides, and then dipping it into the non-dairy milk, coating it on both sides, and finally the breadcrumbs, and placing it on a parchment lined baking sheet. You're going to put them in a 400 heated degree oven for, and you're going to bake them for 20 minutes to 25 minutes and then you're going to take them out of the oven, flip them over and put them back in the oven and bake another 20 minutes or until they're crispy on both sides. When they're done they should look like this. They're crispy and golden on all the sides. You could eat them right away, or you can let them cool completely and freeze them on a baking tray and put them in a bag and free freeze them up to one or two months. My favorite way to do is serve them with for dinner, but save a few extras for the next day's lunch. Just reheat whatever amount you want for lunch and let them cool slightly and then put them in the lunch box. And if you don't want them cold or at room temperature, you could put them in a thermos. 